How's it going YouTube? Liam from Leeds Australia here and welcome back to Let's Play Oceanhorn. Now, so when we last left off, uh, we had retrieved uh, retrieved the necklace and attained the sorted shield and we have learned a bit of history about, uh, about uh, Arcadia. And now we have some unex uninvited guests here. Don't worry, Hermit, I'll save you! Nasty beasts. Alright. Thank you, kid. The necklace must have attracted these dark creatures. Just as your father feared. Monsters and evil forces have distributed the bal- Have disturbed- Sorry, my apologies. Have disturbed the balance of the world. Your destiny is tied to Ocean Horn, just like your father's. It is no use to hide he here and hide any longer. Old scriptures tell about sacred emblems, relics that hold the power of gods. Their purpose was to maintain the balance of the world, but they lost their power in the catastrophe at the same time as Oceanhorn appeared. I believe that was no coincidence. To unravel the mystery of Oceanhorn, you must find out what happened to the sacred emblems. Here is what I know of them. Information. The emblem of Earth that belongs to the Auru people is hidden in the Perta Desert that was once a vast and beautiful forest. Most of its beauty withered along with the Aurus, wise and fearless bird people. The emblem of ocean belongs to Gilfolk, the people living in the waters of the world. Emblem of ocean is a relic of their long past glory and former power. The emblem of sun was the pride of Arcadia, a symbol of hope and determination for our kind. I will tell you more about it later. It is time to begin your journey. Seek the sacred emblems. This is the only way to get to Oceanhorn and find out what happened to your father. You will learn about the islands of, uh, of ancient seas from your father's notebook. First, you should go, to, go and talk to the people at Tikal Island. I, I do apologize, but some of these names I can hardly pronounce correctly. Take this key. It opens the door to the pier where your boat is kept. Godspeed. Yay! <laughs> Alright, so what we have just learned is the locations of where to find these secret uh, emblems, and then uh, most importantly to, of course, visit uh, uh, the town that uh, Herman has mentioned. So it's kind of like... Um, so again, it's it's it sort of uh, brings back into the topic of Zelda games, where you would sort of learn the basic locations of uh, certain areas to go where hidden uh, treasures or items are. <laughs> and yes, since that this is technically a Zelda-type clone, uh, there will be uh, hearts like this, and you can keep track of your progress on your pieces of hearts. And collecting four will, of course, give you a new heart container. And what's cool is that you can actually watch, uh, uh, watch the photo, uh, videos. Sorry, watch the cutscenes if you sort of missed a few things. Oh, I am now traveler. You got your health refueled and ten coins. So yes, like I mentioned before, as you progress through the game, you of course will uh, get experience points as well as completing challenges. And of course, when you level up, you'll get uh, these. Uh, first of all, you'll get uh, your health refilled. You get some coins, but of course, you'll get other sort of upgrade abilities as you progress. If that makes sense. Okay. Uh, just check over here first. Now, as I mentioned in the last episode, I have played this before, so I know what those are. If you collect those, uh, there is a certain character in the game which we'll meet a little bit later. Uh, that will. Um, I really don't know what they what it actually what he actually does to be honest. And here is our ship. Let's go. 
Can you hear me, kid? It's me, Hermit. I can talk to you through this mysterious seashell. Maybe I can be of help on your quest. Alrighty. Alright, so that's where we need to go. There's Hermit's Island. Alright. Alright, so we need to select... Oh, wait, I think it's um, giving us a tutorial. But, so to uh, head to these locations, you of course have to bring up the map by pressing, in this case, B. And then you get to choose the island of where you want to go. So in this case, we are heading to, uh... Where, what is the island's name again? There we go, uh... Tikarel Island? I don't, I can't, I can't really pronounce that, but that's where we need to go. Now, of course, uh, with the, uh... Uh, adventure level XP system it will of course give you when you progress through the uh, those levels you will of course get um, some other items for your um, boat of course so you get different upgrades for your character your boat and for other few bits and pieces as well all right yeah there's no way to fast travel this unfortunately so when I probably travel uh, between islands I'll probably cut it up from the from from the start to finish so you don't have to worry about about seeing what I'm doing but if there's something interesting that pops up that I will show you guys um, I'll of course will leave it in and then of course cut it to the next bit jeez frame rate drops here what a wonderful little village you know, this was the life I always imagined for myself. There's no time to rest, though. I'll just ask for directions and move along. Alrighty. Now, in this particular le uh, island itself, I love the music in, the in this game, of course. Aren't bombs just wonderful? You can use them to open new paths and blow up blocking objects. You should buy them at the bomb island if you have a chance. Now, when you talk to certain characters, they will mention these uh, island, uh, other names of islands that you, of course, will be able to uh, explore if you talk to the certain characters. The Festival of Sun is an important tradition of, for us. It predates even the ca uh, catastrophe, I believe that's how uh, you pronounce it. No. There's so such darkness in the world that would keep us from celebrating soul uh, our goddess so it's important to try and talk with so many characters as we possibly can last year i took part in this stupid trip to withered islands i was hoping to see an aru temple but all i saw was empty wasteland and i got sand in my boots and burnt my skin <laughs> why would anyone want to go there right, so that's another island located All the fish are scared of the restless beast that has been seen in these waters. When the night comes, you can hear it. its ancient sound that drains the joy out of you. Okay, so over here we have our merchant. Welcome to my shop. What would you like to have? So, of course, uh, when you unlock, uh, when you obtain certain bits and pieces, you, of course, will be able to unlock them. And uh, you'll be able to use your coins to unlock them. But... Pretty expensive, <laughs> some of them are. Alright, now, uh, let's head over here. Because I'm, I mentioned a character, uh... A bit ago. We'll go talk to her later, but, uh... Let's... There we go. Alright, so let's head in here. I collect bloodstones around the world. I have collected them from the waters of the world, but I can't reach places far from water. Hey, why don't you help me? If you bring me enough, I'll give you something special. So again, so uh, that crystal uh, that we saw earlier back on Hermit's Island is called a bloodstone. And if you collect them, you get certain things, but I'm not sure how what you get when you collect a certain amount. I believe you get something when you reach 10? 10 stones, I think? I'm not sure. Go 
talk to the girl. The festival sun is coming. My father is busy working preparing his fireworks. No one is allowed to go to Humming Hill before his work is finished. Alright. Okay, so we uh, got certain locations that we can visit, but uh, let's explore a bit and talk to some more people so that we get some more locations. It's a beautiful day. It's always important to sort of uh, uh, to sort of explore a bit of the area so you know what you're doing. Even on a peaceful island, you'll see those things. I love the atmosphere of this place. You can even see Sky Island when the weather is good. Now I haven't been to Sky Island yet. That's another thing. All right, so see. All right, so see over there. So that crystal there is a uh, bloodstone. So you have to hit it a certain amount of times before you can actually collect it. Um, I forgot how many I've collected so far on my other map. On my other save, sorry, not other map. Head to the boat. And uh, I don't think I've been to the side of the Adventures Guild. So again, once when you talk to certain people, you of course, uh, new islands will appear. And I don't know how many islands there are at max. And I know that there are hidden island islands too. Head to Bomb Island and look for some bombs. They say this was the place where Triloth was excavated. Now people come here either to work at mines or buy bombs. They say you should never enter caves or dungeons without some bombs. Could be some puzzles in there, I guess. <laughs> Alrighty, so I skipped from uh, the back, from from the other island to, of course, to the bomb island. And, um, let's see. Alright, All right, so we have reached bomb island. Now, it took me a bit to sort of remember where I needed to go, and I reckon I might have to <laughs> sort of figure out where I have to go again. Get rid of that. Some of these monsters tend to be annoying at times. Right. So I believe if you go over here... Alright, so again, another bloodstone there, which I think we can... Re no. Oh. Gotten some go <laughs> encountered our first goblin. All right, so All right. there we go. Look, you found a bloodstone. Look how it reflects light as it if there were drops of blood inside. <laughs> All right. All right. All right. So again, when you collect those, you of course give them to. Uh, I forgot what those things are, really. I forgot what the actual creatures are, but anyway, so that's all the time I have for, guys. So I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you do, then click the like button, click the subscribe button for more videos anyway. Until then, this has been Let's Play Oceanhorn. I'm Liam from Lace Australia. Until next time, Liam out.